We're debuting a really important 360 special report called Kids on Race, the Hidden Picture. It's a project over a year in the making. Now, race relations one of the most explosive issues in this country, and for many adults, the most taboo to talk about with kids. But what a lot of adults don't realize is that kids, even as young as six years old, are already talking about or thinking about race. And what they say is making friends with kids of other races is hard and only gets harder as they grow up. We teamed up with renowned child psychologist Dr. Melanie Killen to scientifically measure children's attitudes on race. Take a look at this. Dr. Killen and her team showed six-year-old children this picture and asked them questions like, what's happening here? Are these children friends and would their parents want them to be friends? The picture is designed to be ambiguous. What's happening is in the eye of the beholder. Then they showed them this picture and asked the same question. Now, the only difference in the pictures, the race of the children was flipped. Both white and African-American children were tested, and in addition to the six-year-olds, the psychologists showed a similar set of pictures to 13-year-olds. At our request, they also asked kids open-ended questions about race to try to understand how it plays into their own lives. The responses were raw. Some of the experiences they described were frankly shocking. This is the reality of what kids see, hear, and think about race. Listen. If you have the same skin, you can play together, but if you don't have the same skin, you can't play together. So why can't you play together if you have different color skin? Because your mom might not want you to play with that friend. It's okay to tell people that they can't be your friend because of the color of their skin? Mm-hmm. Why is that okay? Because your mom will not want them to... Um, be the same, be, be a different color, um, friends. Do you think it'd be easy for a kid to convince his parents that it would be okay to have other types of mm -hmm. people over? Why not? Mm -hmm. Probably because you might get in trouble. Mm. Why would a parent want to put, want you to get in trouble if you wanted someone to come over to your house who is a different skin color? Probably because, um, they don't allow. Why not? Why would parents, some parents not allow other skin-colored kids to come over? Probably because they might not like that skin color. I've been bullied for like, the way I look and the way of my skin at my previous school that I went to. And they just kept on bullying me, and I didn't like it. I just asked them to stop like over and over again. And then I tried to, like, I tried not to break. Like, but I couldn't, like, hold on anymore. So I asked my mom, can I leave? My grandparents have a lot of, um, like, they're very racist mm. against African Americans and, like, other races. But it's 2012, so they have to, like, push that aside. And they'll be like, no, that, that's wrong to be, you, you want to stick with your own race. And I'm like, no, I'm friends with everyone. Well, there was more. Our CNN study found signs of hope and progress as well. Watch. If somebody has like a different kind of skin color, they sh they all if they're their friend, you always should be friends. So like I have tons of friends that are black and I'm white. It doesn't matter what skin color you are. Um, it just it's just inside here, like in your heart. This is the second time that 360 has scientifically studied children and race. Back in 2010, we discovered that kids as young as five picked up on racial attitudes in the world around them and all of the ugliness that can sometimes come with that. And at this time around, we wanted to understand why children have these attitudes on race, how those attitudes change as kids get older, and how the race of their classmates may shape the adults they are going to become. We begin tonight with the results of the younger children in our study. Oh, you don't have the right color skin. We tested 145 kids at six schools spread across three states. The schools had three different racial makeups, majority white, majority African-American, and racially diverse. Why do you think that Brenda pushed Sarah? Because she wanted to get on the swing. What the research found might surprise you. The first headline, overall, young white children are far more negative about interactions between the races than young black children. When white children were shown these pictures, they had a negative interpretation 70% of the time meaning they were much more likely to say this. How did he fall off? Bobby pushed them. I think Brenda pushed Sarah off the swing. Do you think that he did something that was good or bad? Bad. 
than they were to say this. And how good would you say what Bobby is doing is? Super good. Super good? <laughs> white kids are also far more likely to think the white child and black child in the picture are not friends and think their parents wouldn't approve of them being friends. But why? Responses like this might begin to explain. Do you think it would be as easy to ask your mom to have someone over who's the same skin color and someone over who's a different skin color? Uh, yeah, that might be hard. What, what about it might be hard? Because all my people in my family are white and not mostly people that my mom knows and dad knows mm -hmm. are black or brown yeah. or anything. So it might be kind of hard to ask your mom mm -hmm. to have a friend over who's yeah. black or brown? Mm -hmm. What do you hear? Um, I don't want to be your friend because I have white skin and you have black skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it about skin color that sometimes kids think they might not want to be friends? Because they don't like, like their color. Like they don't like brown, so they want a white color skin friend. Let's say this is an ambiguous situation. Our expert, Dr. Melanie Killen, says children's own experiences with race, along with the messages they hear at school and at home, the characters in the TV shows they watch, what they see online, all of those have an effect. But the subtle messages adults might not even realize they're sending also have a huge effect on children. Dr. Killen calls it implicit bias. When we're in a situation in public, we're in a room, and we have an opportunity to ask two different people for help for something, um, and we might just, you know, be more likely to ask the person of the same race and somebody of an opposite race for help. All of that really has a very powerful influence very early in children's lives, much earlier than we think. But if all kids internalize what they see and hear about race, why are young black children more positive about race than young whites? Remember, 70% of young white kids saw these and thought something negative happened. When black children looked at the same pictures, only 38% saw something negative, meaning they were much more likely to well, see this. Erica? What's going on with Carrie? Um, she was sad that her friend got hurt. What's going on with Chris? He, he was waiting his turn. Positive attitudes despite experiences like this. My, my friend mom wanted to be only her daughter friend because he's only white and I'm black. Okay, so it happened with your friend's mom mm -hmm. that only wanted him to be friends with people who were the same color? Mm -hmm. And so he didn't want you to be friends? Yes. Oh, how did that make you feel? Sad. And was it something that they said? Mm -hmm. How did they say it? It can't be my daughter's friend because they're not the same color. They said that you can't be friends because you're not the same color? Mm hmm She dropped her mind. Six-year-old Ciara was so vocal about race, I asked her more questions afterwards. You've heard people talk about other people's skin color. And what kind of stuff do they say? They say... He, um, they say to the teacher, I don't like their black skin. Can, can they go to another school? You've heard people say that? So why are young black children more positive about race than young whites? Dr. Killen says the misperception from some parents that kids are colorblind has a lot to do with it. African American parents are very early on preparing their children for the world of um, diversity and also for the world of potential discrimination. In contrast, what we find is that a lot of white parents, they sort of have this view that if you talk about race, you are creating the problem. And what we're finding is that children are aware of race very early. Anderson Cooper, CNN.